Hi friends, this is Pat Ward again, and I just, I have to share with you something very, very important and meaningful that happened to me over the past several months. Earlier this year, I willfully did something against God's desire for me. I didn't murder anyone, I didn't rob a bank, but I knew that for me, it was the wrong thing to do. And, but I had done it anyway. And I can tell you that when it first happened, I wasn't even remorseful, which kind of startled me because that's not the type of person I am. I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve. And after, and I prayed about it, and, and I, but I just wasn't feeling the remorse. I knew God would forgive me. And when I had done that, I feel, felt the presence of the Holy Spirit distance himself from me. And after about 10 days, I came home and I just broke down and I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed and I'm praying to ask for forgiveness from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it was in that moment of crying, I knew that my heart was fully remorseful and I knew that God had forgiven me. But yet, it was hard for me to carry on because I'm a very gregarious person and I'm going to the gym and training and getting ready for the World Classic Bench Press Championship. And I didn't have the joy that I had when I had been walking with God's word. But I carried on and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed some more. But I have to tell you the faithfulness and the miraculous healing that God gave me. I left for the World Masters Classic Bench Press Championship on Easter Sunday at O Dark 30. I went into the airport and went into a store to get a couple liters of water. Athletes will tell you that they drink a lot of water. And I, there, was a, there was a lady working there and she was a hard working woman. You could just tell by the exhaustion of her face, she didn't wear any makeup. And she said to me, are you a Christian? And I said, yeah. And she says, would you say a short prayer with me? I'm trying to get as many people as I can to say this prayer on Easter Sunday. Well, I wanted to make sure that she wasn't going to say anything inappropriate or blaspheme. And I said, so what is your prayer? And she said, it's three short sentences. And she told me them. And I said, I'd be delighted to pray with you. So I said those prayers. And they were, they were just a simple short prayer. And I can't remember them. And I got my on my heart that I should give share with her one of the crosses that I carry. So I shared a cross with her and I handed the woman the cross and she cried and she cried and she cried. And she said, how did you know I needed this today? And I told her, I didn't know you needed it, but God knew you needed it. And she took that cross and she took a piece of like printer paper and she put it in there and she folded it up very nicely. And she was a very buxom lady. And she took that cross and put it in her bra and she said, this is gonna stay with me all day. And it was at that point that I felt the resurgence of the Holy Spirit in my heart. It was just like the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on Easter morning. I felt that I was coming anew. I was beginning again. So I went to the meet. And I can't tell you, folks, how many people at this particular meet that God put in my path that gave me a chance to minister to them. I shared my crosses. I prayed with them. I cried with them. And I remember one young woman, Chris. I shared a cross with her one day. And I could tell she, she, was, she was an athlete. She was competing, in fact, on the same day I was. And she was working so hard to contain her composure. And she said, you don't understand what this means to me. She said, one year ago today, my father died. And his deathbed wish for me was to regain my faith. But I don't know how, because I'm looking at this big ball of faith above my head. How do I get that back? And I told Chris, one little moment at a time. I got to talk to Chris actually the day that we were competing. We were in the warm-up room and I went over to her 
And I said, you know, Chris, your return to faith could begin right this moment. And she said, how? And I said, well, you could dedicate every lift you make today to the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You could go out on the platform and do it there, or you could say a prayer right here and say, Lord, I dedicate this lift for you. And she said, is it really that easy? And I said, yeah, it is. It's that simple. It's one little nip at that big ball you see over your head. I don't know if Chris did that, but she did tell me, you've given me a lot to think about and I got to go home and think about it. So as the meet went on, God blessed me by winning the world championship for my age and weight class. I can't believe he did that. Total of representatives from 26 countries competed at that meet. But before I even took the platform to lift, my coach was there, Susie Hartwig Gary. Susie is a wonderful Christian woman. And she said to me, because she had seen me praying with people and she had joined in on those prayers and she had seen me helping people and sharing my cross. And she says, you know, Pat, if you bomb this meet, which means I don't make any of my lifts, this was a successful meet because of all of God's glory that you have shared. But God wasn't done with me. He enabled me to win the championship. And I can tell you, that standing on that podium listening to our national anthem play was one of the emotion, most emotional experiences I ever had. Crying, I'm crying tears. I couldn't even smile. There are no pictures of me smiling with my gold medal holding the American flag because I was too emotional. But more than that, I cried for several days later because of the great opportunities that God gave me to minister to people, to share his love, to share his word and to help them on their, journey, on their journeys in this life. I thank you, most merciful Father, for the wonderful blessings you have given me in my life. I owe everything that I have and that I have done to you, and I praise your almighty glory. Amen.